Well, good morning, traders. Well, despite uh, runaway US Treasury yields in Monday's session, which saw the 10-year yields hit their highest level since uh, 2007, uh, the US dollar was flat on Monday. Um, it did trade in a, a very tight range. It seems that improved risk sentiment and probably a bit technically overbought in the dollar index there uh, held it in check. Uh, dollar index did trade in a tight range, lows of 103.13, uh, high of 103.50, which is just below those July and August highs where we've seen a, a lot of resistance come into that market. Um, the dollar traders we today focused on a lot of Fed speak. We've got uh, members Bowman, Goldsby and Barkin, uh, whose comments will be closely watched, you'd think, uh, ahead of uh, Jerome Powell at Jackson Hole later in the week. Uh, Euro was outperforming major currency. Uh, Euro US pushing hard to reclaim that psychological 109 level. Uh, it did, did pop its head above it, but uh, failed to hold convincingly. Uh, another headline to hit the wires was HSBC giving a bullish take on the Euro, uh, in, in part built on the idea of upside in the euro from overly dovish rate expectations by the ECB. They noted while headline inflation uh, figures are cooling, core inflation is proving uh, quite a bit stickier. Uh, Japanese yen resumed its march lower on Monday, reversing that little two-day rally had at the end of last week. Uh, jump higher in US yields, so I guess the carry traders back in action, taking that dollar yen back above 146 from lows uh, just above 145. There was a note from JP Morgan stating they believed the Japanese Ministry of Finance will not intervene in the FX market around this 145 level where they have previously. Uh, they believe that the threshold level is probably up to that 150 now, so that'll be an interesting one to watch. Aussie, Kiwi uh, saw marginal gains against the US dollar. Kiwi was lagging, it lagged the, US, the Aussie dollar a little bit um, after trade figures from New Zealand showed. A deficit of over a billion Kiwi dollars in July versus the prior surplus of just a slight surplus of nine million. Aussie, Aussie US reclaimed that big, big figure at 64 US cents. Uh, Aussie Kiwi held above that key 108 level. So we do have a quiet calendar ahead today for both the Aussie and Kiwi. So I'm guessing the, the general market sentiment will be the main drivers for price action in those two today.